Hey guys, what is going on today? Tomcat here and welcome back to Off-Road Outlaws. Now in this Off-Road Outlaws video, we're going to be taking a look at the twin turbo uh, tow truck that I built a while back and basically, wow, my, <laughs> my headset is sliding back on my head. But no, basically this particular truck, we've always had it with like normal tires and we've left it ga as a gas engine because technically it is, it's a twin turbo V8. But, we're going to do a couple of things that I'm not sure how they're going to play out, but uh, we're going to switch it to, we're going to switch it to diesel, and we're going to switch the, uh, we're going to switch the wheels over to tracks, and I haven't, I've never, like, tried setting one of these up on the dyno as a diesel, but I'm thinking it'll be, like, pretty much the same process, but I feel like it will probably, hopefully, make different power, so let's see... Let's see, um, oh, so it already says, you know, you already have the perfect setup, you already have everything. Let's see, 854 torque and 507 horsepower. So, I mean, it's kind of what I expected, a lot of torque and then not as much horsepower and then a big fall off. So, it, it makes sense to what it was going to be. But, at the end of the day, I mean, like, let's see if we can... Hmm... Oh god, that makes it look weird. That makes it look super weird. I wonder if I can... Maybe put it... Eh, about 0. 0.8? 0. 0.8 seems about right. Do 0. 0.8, and then let's... Is the travel maxed out? Not quite. It's not quite there. There it is. It's there now. Let's see. Stiffness. We'll turn it down just a little bit because I'm not concerned about, like, max height. More of what I'm concerned about is, um, is, is I want the thing to be able to flex. And I know that that's kind of, a, kind of almost counterintuitive when you have tracks, but it's not necessarily a bad thing to have flex when you have tracks. So you kind of want a little bit of a balance of the two, but you don't want way to one way or the other. Wait, you know what? No, we're going full jelly on this. Oh, God. Oh, geez. Um, should we see what happens if we try to run it like that? Oh, God. I mean, because it can't get any lower than that. Let's take it onto the test rig and see what happens. Because that's not good. I don't, I don't see that working. <laughs> it just bounces around and like, it doesn't actually, doesn't actually drive properly. We're going to take it one step further. I kind of really want to take it one step further. Because I want to take the travel and take it all the way out. Just make it, like, put it on the ground. Completely on the ground. Then take it back to the virtual test rig. And see, I mean, it kind of performs the same as it did before, just a little bit stiffer. It's just really strange how it performs now, because it's obviously not supposed to be like that. But the funny thing is that it still kind of works, and what I'm trying to do is make it not work. Um, I'm trying to make it not work, so everything soft on the dampening as well. And then, let's see, axle type, brake type. So we've taken everything that we can, and we've softened it all the way. So, I think the next step is going to be to take it out to an actual... Well, that's weird how it spawned in. The next step is going to be to take it to an actual map and see how it does on a real surface. But the biggest, the biggest thing, I think, for me is going to be whether or not it'll actually, like, still move across the terrain. So, let's see what... Oh, God. I feel like it's probably going to rub, too. Oh, it's weird. It definitely feels like it's fighting against itself. Yeah, it could barely turn. Dude, it could barely, barely turn. Like, it still climbs, but it's, it's like, like, you could tell that it's not, first of all, you could tell it's not supposed to be like this, and two, you can tell that it's having to work about as hard as it can just to even move. You know what I mean? Like, it, it just to barely even move, it's working about as hard as it possibly can. So, yeah, I mean, honestly, it... Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. 
Yeah, look, I mean, I'm floored, and it shouldn't have to be, it shouldn't have to go that slow. And you can hear it just working against the body, like, working against the body of the vehicle, just where it's rubbing. Not necessarily, like, rubbing as in, like, you actually hear it scrubbing against the- oh god. The frame rate on these maps is a bit weird. And it's not, like, rubbing as in, like, you can hear it scrubbing on the body, but, like, you can actually genuinely feel, and you can see, that the truck is nowhere near as fast as it should be. Especially with a maxed out diesel swap. Water damage, alright. See, that's the other thing, too. If it was lifted, we wouldn't have to worry about that. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, we're gonna exit after that, because that told me about all I needed to know. In concern for, like, you know, or at least in consideration of how this truck is gonna perform. So, oh my god, oh boy, oh boy, um, help! Oh, we made it glitch. We made it glitch really bad. It's leaving. It's, um, um! Oh god! That's not supposed to happen! Oh, that's not supposed to happen! We broke off-road outlaws! Ooh, we broke the game big time. Ooh, boy, we broke the game big time. And then now it just freezes. And it's continuing to go backwards. Is it gonna leave the building? Is it legit gonna leave the building? Or is it gonna go through the floor? I'm not sure. Like, I... Uh... Um... What do you... <laughs> I don't know what it's gonna do, guys. I have no clue what it's gonna do. All I know is that it's... Probably going to, um, it's probably going to eventually make its way, like, either out of the, uh, out of the building or into the ground. Let's see if we do uninstall the tracks first. Okay, uh, how do you propose? Okay, so there we go. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, so we have to go back into, yeah, I was like, where do we have to go? Doesn't make any sense. Back to tires. Thank you. So now, oh, jeez. Well, I've got to take that out and see how see how badly that drives. Because that looks terrible. Oh, my God. It barely moves. Dude, it genuinely barely moves. Holy crap, it barely moves! It barely turns! Everything feels wrong! Legit, everything feels wrong here. Like, there's no... There's no way to get around how wrong this thing feels. Oh my god. About tw oh, 26 miles an hour, top speed. That, that's about it. That's about all you're gonna get uh, out of this thing. It's that bad. It's genuinely that bad. Like, you can hear the gearbox just struggling. Yeah, uh, that's about as good as this thing's gonna do. That's about as good as this thing is gonna do. I mean, I knew that, this, that like, your setup genuinely affected your performance, but I didn't know it affected it that much. Like, in Off-Road Outlaws, at least. I didn't know that it had that big of an influence on how your truck actually performed, but I guess now we know, and did we need to know? I'm not sure, but now you do, and hopefully that, uh, that gives you some insight on uh, the fact that you should not do that. Uh, but, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to click that like button. Tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to y'all later.